with the weather soon to be cooling down as we move into the fall season. Brides around the valley are uh, already in full planning, of course, for their fall weddings. And every year it seems like there's a new trend that's hitting the masses. This year we found some of the hottest non-traditional wedding trends that brides are opting for via Pinterest. You know, that social media site that's perfect for wedding planning. We're joined this morning by Lisa Vukanich, who is the co-founder of Fuchsia Spa, which is out in Mesa. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. And this is exciting because we talk about trends for brides and there's always something different, something new that they're looking for. They want to be different. Yes, every season is something different and really what we're seeing this season was made popular by Kate Middleton ah. is going away from the updos and going for more of a natural look. Okay. Um, the nice thing about doing that is it does save you some money because we all know those updos can be very pricey. So we're talk talking, taking a look at some of the pictures with the hair. I see that total Kate Middleton look there. Oh, yes. yes. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> so she's definitely made that trend popular um, a lot of leaving the hair totally down the old Hollywood glamour look with just kind of soft waves we're also seeing you know a little bit of uh, tighter waves as well and kind of a half up half down more of an event hair and versus I noticed the jewels old. in the hair as well oh yes jewels are really really popular as well as braids kind of that bohemian look with a braid at the front and the loose waves in the back all right and then when we talk about nails um, I think in years past it's always been the French manicure a pale color something that doesn't stand out but you say this year it's a little different yes this year um, brides are going for pops of color uh, the nice thing to do is use the shellac nail polish because it will last you for two weeks so you make it through the honeymoon as well but what's popular right now are the you know if you have burgundy uh, in your wedding then you match your flowers and your nails so you have a nice pop of color with that maybe fuchsia pink you know, uh, a deep uh, purple color is nice as well. Like they're matching your flowers. That's a nice, yes. that's a nice combination. Makes a beautiful photo. Perfect. And then when we talk about makeup, especially around the eyes, again, I feel like in years past, it's been natural blending in, but again, pop of color. Pop of color, jewel tones are definitely in. A lot of brides are matching their eye color and their makeup with the jewel tones. That looks really nice in the photos as well. When you're thinking of, you know, the best the best way to go overall, what's probably the most important thing as a bride in finishing it all off? You know, I think you need to look like yourself, but with a little pop of something extra. I think that's key. If you're not feeling comfortable with your look, you're going to convey that in the photos. All right. Well, we love it. Lisa, thank you so much. And you guys are actually open today. So if you're looking for some help with anything or maybe some relaxation, definitely known for all your great facials and skin treatments that you guys do. You're open today, too. Yes, we're open from 10 to 3. All right. That's great to hear for us Sunday. Thank, thank you. you very much. Again, she is with um, she is with Fuchsia Spa, and they are out in Mesa. We'll have all the information on azfamily.com. Thanks for having us. Thank you.